attached you know like i must have done something to you in your life or you must feel some type of way to me to be blowing up my phone for months even on christmas christmas you ain't got no family you ain't got no friends you want to be around christmas new year's oh babe you must be bored and here's the thing i'm not crazy until you get crazy with me I cannot believe I am making a video about this in 2024. If y'all haven't noticed by now, the year is 2024. Almost done with 2024. Let me put this damn bonnet on. Sorry if y'all can hear the washer and dryer in the back. I just don't give a fuck. Oh, titty showed. <laughs> okay. Does this bonnet look right? I ain't even got that much hair to be putting in this goddamn bonnet, but who give a damn? Y'all. I am so sick and tired. I have been through so much mental, emotional, and physical abuse within the past few years that I have probably ever experienced in my whole entire life. And I'm talking about from manipulation, narcissistic personality disorder, literally being choked and just feeling like a whole bunch of blah. So when people are over here telling me like, you know, Tyler, like, you know, I, we miss you on YouTube, like come, I miss y'all too. I want to be creative. I want to come back up on here with some good news, talking about some, oh, Tyler, you won the lottery. You got a hundred million dollars. We all going on a motherfucking trip, okay? <laughs> but it's the constant BS whenever I'm trying, I, I, when I try to disassociate myself away from the toxicity, the toxicity wants me to come back. You ever felt like someone was like intentionally trying to drive you to the deep end? I'm not there, so don't worry about it. But, <laughs> oh my God, like, I just cannot, I just can't. I forgot to do my whole entire intro. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Tyler and Duff, and I'm back with another video. I. I just, yeah, subscribe and like this video and leave some comments in the comment section below. I am so tired of talking about what is negatively impacting me in my life from a particular person. Like I am ready to move forward and talk about new stuff that's impacting me in my life so that y'all can hear me vent, okay? Cause YouTube is literally like my diary, okay? I am so tired of having my life impacted by my ex in 2024 when I decided to leave back in 2020. That's how you know that there is a problem, okay? Let me start this video off by telling you guys what the initial cause was for me to make this video. I uploaded a YouTube story. I was answering questions about what people had for me, whatever. And one of them came up and said, how is Anthony? And I posted a photo saying in jail with his mugshot. And that kind of sparked like people like really eating that shit up. Like most of y'all really ate that shit up. Was like, oh my God, like what? Like you ate like what? And some people were like, oh my gosh, whatever. You know, like this and that, or you know, blah, 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 blah. Then on top of that told me, didn't you go to jail too? And I'm over here like, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I did, but not at the same time and not for the same reason. So let me go ahead and break down this video even more for y'all. I honestly would not have made this video if this person was not trying to latch on to me still to present day so hard to try and feel relevant or love or whatever the case may be. You can ask most of my exes, if not all of my exes, that I may have like an explosive personality. Like I go from zero to 100 real quick. But what you cannot say about me is that I didn't love you and I didn't try. Like you genuinely cannot say that about me whatsoever. So the reason why my exes love to talk about me so much still to this present day, even 
before Anthony is because I genuinely wasn't the problem. My problem was my responses to the, the, the harmful things that was happening to me in my life. So what has been happening to me recently, I'm going to be releasing more videos about where I've been and what's going on here shortly, okay? But what it really enticed me was that, the Instagram stuff and people like feeding into it so much. But on top of that, it really started in December when I came back from my family trip and Thanksgiving when my current ex now boyfriend um, again was about to or did cheat on me with another one of my exes. Yes, I have been cheated on once again to the point where I started thinking, well, goddamn, it must be me. It must be my goddamn big ass mouth. Or is it because I'm getting fat? Or what is it? Because I be hearing Everybody nowadays be getting cheated on and I'm like, what has happened to 2024? Can we start the rapture? God, you may not like me, but at least please just take me and I will get rid of all my sins, I promise you. And this is a video documentation proof to God. How do they do it? I don't even go to church. I don't even know how to do that. That happened, right? I've been through that. Then within the same month, my phone starts blowing up with calls and text messages every day, every morning, starting at like seven o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning, calls from like 2 a.m. to whatever throughout the day, right? And all of these numbers are fake because the person that is blowing up my phone is obviously not going to text me from the real phone so that I can track it, right? But, you know, I'm a smart ass bitch. Like you really can't get shit past me most of the time. Like, I'm 99% right most of the time. I'm a Virgo, y'all, okay? So you know we gotta paint this perfectionist, like, analytical personality that we have, and you gotta, you gotta give us some props, and your Virgo friends some props, come on. We're right most of the time. I knew that somehow, when my current ex-boyfriend, my most recent one, told me about the, the ex, and I already had a conversation with the other, other ex, about this, that I thought that, you know what, these things gotta be conjoined in some type of way. But then I started thinking, there's multiple moving parts in this because this text message says that all my exes wanna fuck them, right? First it was Anthony, now it's blank. So then I had to go through everybody else that I have had relations with to try and figure out what in the fuck and why does this person keep on making fake text now numbers to blow up my motherfucking phone every fucking morning. I'm not even up. I don't even get up at seven, eight, nine o'clock in the morning. I'm asleep and my phone is set to silence call numbers that ain't saved in my phone. No way. So I don't even know what this person did this for months. I am talking about all the way up until like, la what the fuck is that? Bitch move. All the way up until last month. I'm over here like, you got to be obsessed with me. And the thing is, you're not going to be that obsessed with me if you don't know who I am. Or you, you may have known who I am, but you had to have really felt something attached, you know, like I must have done something to you in your life or you must feel some type of way to me to be blowing up my phone for months, even on Christmas. Christmas? You ain't got no family? You ain't got no friends you wanna be around? Christmas? New Year's? Oh babe, you must be bored. You must be bored as fuck. Cause I started thinking, oh, this must be some fucking fan, right? But the thing is, how did you get my number? How did you get my current ex's number? And then how did you also know about Anthony? And why are you blowing up my motherfucking phone? I ignored it. I played it. I, I, not, I didn't play into it at first. I really was like generally trying to figure out like, who is this? Like you may have the wrong number until the text message came around that, oh, it's Anthony, this Anthony, that. It got so weird to where this person was following me at the bar talking about some, I see you, you're sitting right there. At one o'clock in the morning, by the way, not only that, my car, it's not, ex it's not cheap to fix parts on my car. But my car was vandalized to the point where photos are taken of me whenever I'm walking, whatever. I have a stalker. 
okay? There is a person that hates me so much to where they know where I'm at. They know what I have. They are obsessed with me. It started getting really fucking weird. So then I filed a police report because I do know who this fucking person is. I even let this person know, I know who you are. And if I really want to press charges or if I really want to get to the nitty gritty, like show up to your motherfucking house and fuck some shit up, I am going to do that. I'm going to do just that. But y'all, I have been making peace with God. I really have. It is literally engraved into my blood to be crazy. And here's the thing. I'm not crazy until you get crazy with me. Other than that, I'm the most chilling, loving person ever. I am super empathetic. And that is why I get taken advantage of most of the time. But when you do stuff like this to the point where now, I'm coming out of pocket for so much shit that you're doing to me. I am literally gonna fuck some shit up, okay? So I'm wondering why this person, even after I told them not the police report and who I knew who they were, they paused. And so it started back up again. And I'm over here like, it started back up again about two, three weeks later. And I'm over here like, you really want me to beat your motherfucking ass, don't you? You want me to whoop that ass? <laughs> Like, <laughs> let's be for real here. Once I finally confronted the phone number, the most recent phone number that was blowing me up, I said, can I help you? Because I knew it was coming from Anthony's phone. I'm over here like, okay, what's good? Because this person that was using Ant's phone to blow up my phone accidentally left a voicemail and I heard the voice. So I knew that it wasn't Ant. Okay, so I'm like, huh, this is interesting. Let me go ahead and answer this. So I did, and, or, or play into the text messages. So I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let me come back to this. It's September, 2023. Aunt's mom reached out to me and basically told me, and this was jokingly told me, um, you know, that she needs, like she's wondering if me and Aunt still talk. Like, are we friends, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, no, we're not. I'm like, no, no, like I'm in a relationship, whatever. So I jokingly say, what happened? Did he go to jail? And she said, well, yep, he did. And I'm like, oh my God, why? So this man is facing charges for stabbing his boyfriend at the time. And I'm over here like, what? And yeah, he went to jail. She asked me for $1,500 to bail him out. And I'm like, really sitting there contemplating, should I help? But wouldn't that be disrespectful to my current relationship? But honestly, my current relationship, he disrespected me so many times. But then I was thinking, why the fuck would I give her, why would I invest $1,500 to get someone out of jail that I'm not even in a relationship with for years now? And who's, who still constantly keeps on harassing me <laughs> what they tried to make it seem like it wasn't that big of a deal the stab wasn't that big of a deal and that it wasn't what it looks like saying like there wasn't like oh the boyfriend didn't die or like it didn't really penetrate the skin just a little and i'm like i don't even know if i believe that and has had a knife up to like my throat and my face before okay um i don't believe it Almost, like it's like a 50-50. Cause I'm like, is he that crazy to do that? Not when I met him, not necessarily. But like years have gone by and I have not been in this person's life. And if the boyfriend's calling the police to where the police come and have probable cause to arrest you for whatever the charge, a felony, cause that's what it is, a felony. I think it's a little bit serious, don't you think? Your, like, your mom is literally, I'm not gonna put so much business out there. Your mom relies on you to take care of your little brother and who I care for a lot because I really, I genuinely wanted to know how Char's well-being is. And you put that all at risk. That to me is like, what the fuck? Your mom's calling me asking for money and it becomes my business at, at, that, at that point. I'm like, you're calling me asking me for money and asking me multiple other things. And I'm like, okay. So in the text message that I'm sending to Ant, I'm over here like, you need to grow up. That is not cute. Acting like that ain't cute. The whole toxic, like choke me daddy and doing all this other toxic stuff. It's so old. I don't even know why I entertain that. <laughs> 
like I like it. Like I have some kinks, but there's a kink, and then there's some like there is a mental disorder going on here. Don't have your mom call and text me because I like your mom and I like I liked his family. I, I did for the most part, the ones that accepted me. But you have so much at risk that you decided to do something like this or to put yourself in a situation to where your crazy fucking boyfriend is blowing up my phone every goddamn night. It's weird, okay? Not only that, after this text message of him even saying, oh, I understand, or this isn't gonna happen again, or whatever, blah, 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 blah you went to jail again for the same thing. And your mama calling me because you lying. Cause you lying to her about some mo shit that was going on. And I'm like, I have not talked to him since I told him to basically leave me alone and delete my number. But yet still lying to her, telling her that he's talked to me for whatever reason. I don't know why, but you know, this time she didn't really ask me, like even she's like, my son is a, a narcissist, like a like a manipulator, a, a habitual liar. I'm so glad that you got out of this relationship and that you're growing and whatever. And I'm over here like, <laughs> I'm growing. Yes, I am. But I am going through it because it seems like so many people or the ones that I'm attracting, I don't even know what it is, are crazy. Actually mentally deranged, crazy. So now you're in jail for the second time when your first case is still going on, now you got two. I'm not messaging you this time because your boyfriend ain't messaging me, but y'all talking about y'all love each other and y'all doing this and that. And it, it, got, it got deep, like talking about like drugs and other violations that have happened. I'm over here like, all I can do is pray for you. And I really do hope that you get out of that situation and that your mother is not worried about you because we grown as fuck. I, I met aunt whenever I was 20, okay? We're talking about one and a half a decade later. And here's the truth. I don't even want to be associated anymore with ants, but I keep these videos up and I keep a lot of the things up because people have asked me to and that y'all don't see my DMs, but people have, we genuinely touch people's lives. Like even prior to my relationship, like people and their experiences and what they go through actually can impact someone's life positively or negatively. Hearing that people find joy watching what I do and what me and him have done, I, that's the reason why I keep it up. But now I'm like, I don't know if this is giving a tether of hope that we'll probably get together again or what, whatever the case may be. It's not, it's not happening. Past is the past. I don't want to raise my blood pressure up that high anymore. Like I've got my blood pressure levels down to almost manageable. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to manage my weight again because like I told y'all this other past relationship that I'm going to be releasing videos about have also been fucking crazy. I, I can't. Yeah, what I posted on Instagram was a little petty, but you're blowing me up. You're damaging my property. You're harassing me. Not necessarily him, but people in your life, okay? You have lied about me. You have stolen from me. And all I do is keep quiet and keep it hushed and keep it pushing. I am so tired. Like this is a form of abuse. You also slept with somebody that I was also talking to previously that I also made a video about. Like. I don't even know. I don't even have the word. So when people are over here telling me like, you know, Tyler, like, you know, I, we miss you on YouTube. Like, come, I miss y'all too. I want to be creative. I want to come back up on here with some good news, talking about some, oh, Tyler, you won the lottery. You got a hundred million dollars. We all going on a motherfucking trip, okay? <laughs> but it's the constant BS whenever I'm trying, I, I, when I try to disassociate myself away from the toxicity, the toxicity wants me to come back or latch on to me. To the point where I'm having cognitive dissonance right now, like on a daily basis. I'm like, oh wow, this month's all, all, already almost over. <laughs> wow, the year's almost over. Wait, what did I do an hour ago? My brain is even clocked out, like child. For those of you that struggle with like toxic relationships, leave. Find the strength to leave. Some situations are so hard, but like this is why I have stepped away Okay, because that is not something that I wanted to deal with, you know, like, it's just that was not going to work with me. <laughs>
<laughs> and I don't want to be in jail for so long. I don't even want to go back to jail for a little time that I was there. For my situation, I saw the future and that is just a no. And let me tell y'all something. I'm so ready to move on and move past. Oh my goodness. Y'all can tell I've been working out a little bit, huh? <laughs> working out my, my chest. Oh, I need to get these, uh, one of these upper lats going on. I need to shave my face. I really just got up on here, just bare. Like, I'm like, <laughs> do I got a fight? <laughs> Anyways, follow me on Instagram, by the way. There is always gonna be problems and some toxic ass shit going on in life. And I know that that is going to happen with me, okay? And, and, and anybody. And I love sharing these stories with y'all, hearing y'all's feedback, engage with me. Thank you so much. Hopefully not about this particular person. But that is what is going on currently. I'm so glad I got to speak my piece because I haven't. I don't know why these people want to latch on to me, yo. I hope that everybody finds peace. And if you're watching this video, I hope that you find peace. And that is what I'm looking for. And honestly, I have grown a lot in life and I am finding peace. Now, the other, reason, the, other way, the other reason why I know that I'm growing in life is because I'm not being instantly reactive. I'm trying to think, process, before I whoop some ass. <laughs> just kidding. I just wanted to clear the air. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. <laughs> like this video comment and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about my crazy ass life and thank you for listening. Until next time, deuces.